Hello my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert and today you caught me going out and about in the car. I am heading out on some more adventures and my first stop is going to be Vernon Dion Fishing Supplies. It's a fishing store with different supplies and actually a couple of different things that I'm interested in taking a look at. If you're all interested, come on along. It's going to be an adventure.
I have some wonderful treasures to show you all. Come with me and I will show you. When I went to the Vernon Dion fishing supply store, I picked up some of these totes and look at the size of them. I put them next to the coffee table so you could get a bit of a scale of how long they are, how big they are. And I picked up four of them. These are actually fishing totes that the fishermen put the fish in. But around here, a lot of people, I found out, have been using them for their vegetable gardens. And these ones here, if you take a little look, they have some holes already in them for drainage. You can get some of these totes here, these fishing totes, with or without holes. So of course I picked up the ones with holes because that'll save us a lot of work from drilling holes into them ourselves. The work is already done. <laughs> so this is going to be really great for our vegetable garden and I intend to pick up a few more and these were an exceptional price actually. They were around $14.95 I think, something like that. Not too bad at all and they're quite large and they will definitely do the trick. Right now they have just a tiny little wee bit of dust in there just because they were sitting outside by the store, up against the window by the store, and the car is going by, probably stirred up some dust a little bit. But um, I can wipe these down, that's not a problem. It's All it is is just a little bit of dust from the road, from the cars going by. So that's no problem at all, but I'm really excited about these fishing totes. And the lady at the store, she said she uses them actually for her vegetable garden. And because they're fishing totes, they're very, very durable, as you can imagine out in the weather. So I'm really excited about these totes. They are definitely going to do the job that I need them to do. And I'll be able to grow a lot of vegetables in these fishing totes as well. So, <laughs> and now my friends, I want to show you what I picked up at Frenchie's. I found a few things at Frenchie's today and I was really glad that I found them. First thing I'll show you is this really nice sign and it looks new, it still has like the original price tags on the back. But the sign says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So that's going to be really, really nice for the fall, for autumn season. And it has those nice pumpkins on the bottom. So that's perfect. And it might end up putting it right where that butterfly is, right there. <laughs> I think that would be a good spot for this in the fall time. So that's great, and it has this here string that I can hang it up with. So that's great, I'm happy with this sign. I'll have to take the price tag off there. But it didn't cost me very much. In actuality, everything that I'm about to show you came to a total of $20. Mm -hmm. Yep, $20. So there's that sign. I also picked up this makeup bag my makeup bag is falling apart. The lining on the inside of my makeup bag is all ripped and falling apart, but this one, look how good that looks. It looks brand new actually. And the zipper works well. No problem with the zipper. And there's no shame in second hand, that's for sure. But all that I'll do is I'll spray the inside and outside with a little bit of Mr. Clean, wipe it down, just clean it up a little bit. It's clean as you can see, but you know, just to disinfect it a tiny little bit. Because uh, who knows where it's been, but it looks, it still looks quite clean, but I'll give it a good cleaning with Mr. Clean. And that'll do the trick, that's all it needs really. And there's no rips inside or anything. So I'm very happy with this. I've been needing one of these for a while now. There's something else that I picked up at Frenchie's and it's quite quite cute actually and it looks vintage and you know I love vintage. See this blouse? <laughs> I think I have some plans for this blouse. You may be seeing this. 
Mm, in a future vlog coming up. <laughs> I've got some plans. And I need a vintage looking blouse for a particular video. <laughs> I'm not going to give anything away. But I've got some cool plans for this. This vintage blouse. <laughs> it plays a key role. And this didn't cost very much. And as you can see, it's quite cute. It's quite cute. A lot of little polka dots there. Very vintage, mm -hmm. which is what I need, which is what I like. It's quite nice with the short sleeves right there. So I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy I found this. Yes, when I first saw that hanging up, I thought, yep, that's the one. That's the blouse that'll do the job. <laughs> the last item that I picked up at Frenchie's is actually right here. And it's quite large, but I want to show you something here so you can get a little bit of a look at uh, what I'm about to show you. This here says a Forstman fabric styled by Central Park. And it says dry clean only. So it's 100% wool. And when I saw this, I tried it on, of course, and I instantly liked it very very much and i'll give you a better view i found this really beautiful nice long women's trench coat at frenchies and i wanted to let you see just how long it is i'll keep backing up here so you can get a bit of an idea is very very nice and I'm going to have a dry clean but that's for sure but it's in beautiful shape there isn't one rip in the lining there isn't one tear anywhere whoever had this before me took exceptional care of this beautiful coat it's so dressy I can wear a dress underneath with this I could wear dress pants I can wear skirts it's that dressy that if, if I was going to go to a fancy place or an outing, I could wear this and it would look amazing. And I imagine to buy this brand new, it would have cost a lot more than $20. But everything that I picked up at Frenchies today came to a total of $20. Now I still have to get this dry cleaned, but that's not a big deal really. That's not a big deal at all. It would have cost me way more to buy this brand new. And it looks like it's brand new. It's in that good of shape. So it was a perfect, wonderful purchase. I'm very happy with this. And it's going to last me a very, very long time. Today, I have something very special to share with you all. Mail call. <laughs> yes, I went to my P.O. box and these are the treasures that I found. Whenever I go to my P.O. box, I go with such great anticipation. And when I actually find something, it's just such a joy. So I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can share some of these with you all right now. Here's a beautiful postcard, and this is of the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa, Ontario. And there's a little note on the back here, and I'll read some of it to you right now. Dear Michelle, my whole family and I watch your vlog. Sometimes Mum tries your recipes. Josh looks like he's having fun planting the strawberries. We live in the nation's capital. From Sarah. Sarah, thank you. <laughs> this is so nice and thank you for the nice little note there. That's really great. I feel very honored that your whole family watches my vlog. I don't take it as a small thing, that's for sure. And for you to take the time to buy me a postcard, this is a beautiful postcard of the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa, Canada. 
and to write this little note on the back it's very thoughtful of you to take the time to write me a note <laughs> this is so great and i'll let joshua read this as well and gerald has actually seen this and he's very excited so thank you sarah thank you very very much and this is a beautiful postcard i've been to the parliament buildings in ottawa and it is spectacular just the enorm how enormous it is and it's just beautiful ottawa is a really beautiful place so thank you so much sarah thank you thank you i love this postcard i also received this in the mail as well so i'm going to open this up and see what kind of treasures await <laughs> oh my this is so great Let's see what we have in here oh this looks very nice wow I'm just being very gentle here I think I'm going to move this teapot a little tiny bit just so I have a little bit more room I'm gonna move that too I'm gonna need my glasses of course I just put this down on the table here just so you could get a nice look and this looks handmade and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's see what this says. There's a little note inside. Let's take a little peek. In the card it says, Greetings from the Eastern Shore. And this viewer is from Sheet Harbor Passage in Nova Scotia. So same province as what I'm in. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> And I do believe the name is um, Cummings. Chasen Cummings. Did I get that right? I hope I got that right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I just love this, this beautiful card you made. And you had picked up the sea glass on the beach. Well, thank you very much for making me a card with that. That's very, very popular here in Nova Scotia, isn't it? To collect sea glass and some people put it in a bottle so you can see it and it looks really really nice but other people such as yourself um make beautiful artwork and in this case a beautiful card so i thank you very very much for taking the time to make me a card oh i just thank you so very very much and you have some pictures here i will show everybody these beautiful pictures that you took these are really, really nice. Can you guys see that okay? Very, very beautiful. Look at the sky. Look at the sun. I'll let you see the other side again. Just beautiful. It's pretty amazing nature. How wonderful and beautiful nature is, isn't it? The different colors during sunrise and sunset. How the, the sky just changes so many different colors. Depending on the mood of the day, right? <laughs> Well, I thank you very, very much, uh, Jason, for this beautiful, beautiful card. Please correct me if I'm wrong, if I read your name wrong. I apologize for that. And uh, thank you for taking the time to send me this beautiful, beautiful card. And I'm going to be putting this in my scrapbook. I do have a scrapbook. And I'll be keeping all of the cards that everybody sends me. And I'm definitely going to be keeping this card. And... This here beautiful picture is going to be going on my bulletin board. I have a special bulletin board that I have set up for all postcards and beautiful pictures like this. And when people come to visit me, I will be showing them the beautiful postcards that you've been sending me. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friends, for these beautiful, beautiful pictures and the postcards and the beautiful card that you made me. I just want you to know I'm very, very grateful and very, very thankful and very appreciative. If any of you, my, my friends and viewers, if any of you want to send me a postcard or a card just telling me where in the world you are all watching from, that would be fantastic. You're all welcome to do it, and I absolutely love receiving things from you all in the mail. But just letting me know where you're watching from, it's just 
very exciting and I'm just it's just surreal in a lot of ways like wow I actually there's actually people out there watching me <laughs> and now I have my teapot here and I have my beautiful teacup here filled to the brim with tea <laughs> I'll try not to spill it and I want to thank you all and here's to you my little rays of sunshine. Well, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's always such a pleasure having you spend time with me. It's always great to have you around. If you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And in the meantime, I have more vlogs coming up. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.